Hey guys, what is going on? Today we are going to make a privacy search engine tier list ranking the best, in my opinion, to the worst. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Surfshark is always my recommended VPN uh, for a user who wants a really good complete VPN package. In my opinion, it probably has one of the best bundled deals out there for VPNs. It's the only VPN I've found that combines a data broker removal tool like Incogni, antivirus built in within the application, as well as some other identity protection features like email aliases and data breach alerts. In my test, Surfshark is among the fastest VPNs out there. And yes, I'm one of the only VPN reviewers on YouTube who does live speed tests. It's also one of the best VPNs when it comes to streaming compatibility. I'm also the only reviewer I know that actually painstakingly reviews all the different regions on Netflix. And outside of that, it's also extremely easy to use and they recently improved the GUI to look really good. Use my link below to let them know I send you as well as to lock in the best available price. All right, now back to the video. All right, guys, so here is the tier list. And first up, we could discuss what some of these are. This is DuckDuckGo. This one right here is Start Page. A lot of them actually have pretty similar logos, which is kind of funny and makes it kind of confusing to remember each individual logo. But we're going to do our best job to try to make sense of it so you guys could find the best engine, search engine to use. Now, first up, I do kind of want to start right away. I think one of the most interesting ones that I haven't heard of that you guys might want to check out is something called Gibiru. This is what Gibiru likes. The thing I like about Gibiru is that it's been around for a while. It's a private search engine. You can add it to Chrome. And the cool thing about Gibiru is it actually does kind of give you interesting results. It's gonna give you interesting results. It's different from Google. It's not gonna have things censored and removed like Google does. So it's gonna give you more accurate actual results of what's on the internet. And that's what I like about it, which makes it S tier. It also says that it's faster than Google because it doesn't do all the tracking Google does. Next up, we're gonna be talking about Start Page. Now, Start Page is an okay uh, search engine, but honestly, the results here, I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, they don't really give me as good as results as Google. Kind of gives me like different results. It says it uses Google results, but honestly, my results are often different and I'm not as a huge of a fan of them. But overall, the privacy policies and stuff like that are pretty good on the website. So I'm gonna have to give it something like A tier. We also have stuff like Brave Search, and this one is pretty good too. Although I don't really know too many people talking about or, or using this one specifically, but you can set your default to Brave with this one. It's okay, but honestly, Brave kind of does leave a bad taste in my mouth because they're trying to shove down the VPN down your mouth at every opportunity possible. And you can even see an ad like this on their website, and they even have the VPN installed on your computer whether you want it or not. And they've gotten a lot of trouble with people about this recently and yeah it kind of pisses me off too so honestly for that annoying me um i'm honestly going to give it a lower ranking here it is i'm probably just going to give it uh maybe a b tier just for being perfectly mediocre next up we do have DuckDuckGo, and unfortunately there was this issue last year where it turned out that DuckDuckGo was giving some information to microsoft for some reason this was like advertised a lot all of a sudden kind of around this time honestly for those reasons i might give this one a c tier rating i went ahead and added a kojia because i did want to talk about that one as well overall i actually kind of like the results i do get with this one i find that it's a little bit different results than google and it's pretty good and doesn't seem to be that censored also it seems like they have a pretty good eco sustainable mission and i haven't really ever heard anything bad about this one and it's privacy friendly as well so that's pretty cool it's interesting to see Ecosia also building out some new features like this AI chat feature, which I haven't played with too much, but it's kind of interesting. Another decent result is Quants. This is a uh, UEU based French company. Um, that is pretty privacy friendly. Um, it kind of has the look and feel of like a browser or homepage or something like that. Overall, this is a pretty good one as well. It has a layout that is very, very similar uh, to Google, um, but that might be something you're into. There are some ads here on the side, but they're not really too intrusive. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to say this logo is Quant because honestly, all these logos are starting to look the same. I'm going to give this one maybe a B tier. And also, I forgot it to rate Akosia. I'm going to give it an A tier because I do like its eco-sustainable mission. The search results are pretty good. And overall, I really do like the interface of that search result. Search Encrypt is actually a pretty good one. It has an extremely minimalist interface. But the nice thing about this one is it has no ads and it's as blank as you could possibly get 
which is really nice. Another thing about it is it uses perfect forward secrecy, which means your keys um, can never leak your data. Um, this retrieves results from a different kind of variety of search engines, and the results are pretty good. It has better default privacy than some other competitors out there, like something like DuckDuckGo. So honestly, I'm gonna give this one a pretty good rating. Maybe something like this, just because I like how, I'm gonna actually give it an S tier, just because I like how simple it is. It doesn't really have any bullshit on it, and it's just very, very simple. Actually, I'm gonna give it an A tier, just because it doesn't seem to have dark mode, which would make it S tier, in my opinion. Next up, I have no idea what this one is, even is. Um, let me know down in the comments down below if you know that logo. But guys, these are some of my opinions on some of the search engines out there. Um, some of them, all of them are pretty similar, honestly, with just variations here and there between the theming, um, a little bit difference between the search results and some of the different privacy analytics on the website. I just kind of wanted to mention some interesting ones out there. Namely, I do like Search Encrypt for its extreme simple functionality. I also like Gabiru for its kind of uncensored nature and also good UI. I never really seen anyone talk about this one really. And I do think Akoja deserves a special shout out for being a pretty good interface, pretty good search results and a good mission. So that is my final search results here. Um, my final results for the search engines. Let me know down in the comments down below if you disagree with any of this. And I'll see you in the next video very soon.